Hi kids, we have a story for you today and it's about Jesus walking on water. We're gonna see the power of Jesus in this story and we find it in the book of Matthew in our Bibles. One of Jesus' disciples was named Matthew who wrote this first gospel. This Bible story takes place just after the miracle when Jesus finished feeding 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. So at the end of the day, Jesus told his disciples to get in a boat and go to the other side of Lake Galilee. The disciples got on the boat. They started off toward their other side of the lake while Jesus stayed behind and said goodbye to the crowd. So the disciples rowed the boat out onto the lake. Can you pretend to row your boat? Row like this, row, 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 and then stop. Soon after the crowd left, Jesus went away by himself to pray and he prayed late into the night. As the disciples were rowing across the lake, they noticed some storm clouds off in the distance. It looked as if the storm was coming straight towards them. They noticed the sky was getting darker, then they felt the wind start to blow. Before long, waves started forming on the water. Whoosh, whoosh. At first the waves were small, then the waves grew bigger and bigger. Whoosh, whoosh. The boat started rocking back and forth. Can you rock back and forth like you're in a boat? Rock back and forth. And the waves are so big. The disciples were scared. But just then, the disciples saw something off in the distance. It looked like a man walking toward them. But how could that be? They were in the middle of a huge lake. The disciples thought it must be a ghost. Now the disciples were really scared. The disciples heard something. Was the ghost talking? Then Jesus said, it's me, Jesus, don't be afraid. The disciples looked at each other. Jesus? It was, Jesus. Jesus was walking on the water. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, was brave and he stood up. Peter called out, Lord, if it's you, tell me to walk out to you on the water. And Jesus said, come to me. So Peter became even more brave. And he got out of the boat. He put one foot out into the water. Then he put the other foot out onto the water. Peter was standing on the water. Peter looked down. He realized he was standing on the water. He began to walk toward Jesus. Peter looked at Jesus and took a step and then another. But then Peter took his eyes off of Jesus and looked out at the waves. He heard the wind blowing and he saw the dark clouds all around him. Peter became afraid, really afraid. Before Peter realized it, the water was up to his ankles, then his calves, then his knees. Then he wasn't so brave anymore. Lord, save me, save me, Peter yelled. He was sinking into the water. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand. Peter reached for Jesus. Jesus grabbed onto Peter's hand and kept him from going under the water. Jesus said, your faith was so little. Why did you doubt? Then Jesus helped Peter climb back onto the boat and they were safely on the boat. The wind died down finally. The water became calm. The sky grew brighter. The disciples were amazed by what they'd seen. They knew that Jesus was the son of God. Peter discovered that Jesus was so powerful that he could even walk on water and save him and that he loves him enough that he could protect him from anything. So we feel afraid sometimes too, don't we? Rain boots and rain gear can protect us from the rain and rainstorms, but sometimes we have stormy lives, things that maybe are gonna bring us down. But what could we do? We should choose to trust in Jesus always. He's always ready to help us. Just like he protected Peter, he'll protect us. We can believe God's promise in Isaiah 41 that says, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Jesus loves us so much that he has let us be able to become part of his family. All we have to do is believe in him and trust in him. And then we will always want to follow his amazing ways. Kids, have a great day. Thanks for listening to this story and go trust Jesus with all of your hearts.